Hi guys, so today we're going to be making rainbow fudge. Um, it's really, really easy to make. It's basically two ingredients and then some food colouring. Um, I've got everything ready to go. This is literally all you'll need. So I've got just a small saucepan, 450 grams of white chocolate, one tin of condensed milk, I think that's 397 grams. Food colours, I've got six. I just had what I just use what I've got. Um, I've got this loaf pan with a bit of parchment paper in it. You can use any dish, you could use a round cake tin or anything like that. Um, it just depends on what you've got, and that's what I had. I've got six bowls because I'm going to separate it and make different colours, and then I've got six spoons just to, to, to mix the colours in. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to put all of our chocolate into the bowl, into the pan, and then we're going to pour all of that thick condensed milk in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the hob and we're going to heat it up really, really slowly until it's all melted together. And that is pretty much it. That is that is how you make fudge. Um, you can do it in a microwave in a bowl, but if you're doing that, just be careful because it can burn quite easily. But if you are going to do that, just do it for like 10 seconds, check it, 20 seconds, check it, you know, really, really kind of slow and steady. So as you can see, it's on a low flame and we're just going to stir it all together until it melts. And it might take a few minutes this, but we're just going to make sure we keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom, it doesn't burn. Because chocolate burns really, really easily. Okay, so as you can see, it's all really smooth and there's no lumps in it, no bits of chocolate left. That is ready to go now, so I'm going to turn the hub off and we'll go back over there. Okay, so we now have our white chocolate and condensed milk melted together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit in each six of these bowls and then we're going to put some food colouring in them. So just an equal amount, it's quite thick so You can, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to put colours in it, you could just leave it like this and you've got white chocolate fudge. But I want to make it colourful for Blue Monday. So I've got my fudge divided into all six bowls. I'm just going to use put some colours in now and then show you what that's like. So all our colours are now mixed. Um, I've got six colours, these are just the colours that I had, you can use any colours you want, you don't even have to add colour, you could just have white chocolate fudge. But what we're going to do now is we're going to pour it into our loaf tin, um, and we're going to try and pour it in layers so that when we cut through it you'll see all of them. It's not going to be perfect, but that's not a bad thing, it will still look really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the pink, it's quite thick so it doesn't pour like a liquid. So what we're going to do, that's going to go in there, plop in the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to get that up. I'm going to just smooth it out into a thin, thin layer. And this is why a different size tin probably would have been better to use. But I didn't have one. So we do what we can. Okay, so. You can see that we've just got a thin layer at the bottom, and then I'm going to go for I'm going to go for yellow. And again, I'm going to try and get it as a layer. It will mix together with a bit, but that's fine. It'll look really, really cool anyway at the end. Okay, so now you can see all the layers are there. Um, Bits of the red have come through the blue, purple, green, all that. It's got a mixed up. It's not going to be perfect layers, but it's still going to look really, really good and really colourful. Um, if you wanted, you could add flavours to this. You could add Smarties. You could add chunks of white chocolate. You could add anything you want. Um, I'm just going to keep it plain for now. You don't even have to add the colour. Uh, you could just have white chocolate fudge, and then it's literally just two ingredients. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to put this in the fridge for at least an hour, but I think this is quite thick, so I think it's going to take a couple of hours. Um, and then we'll be back to show you what it looks like when it's done. OK, 
Okay, so it's been about just I probably it's probably been just over two hours now. Um, I went for a walk, so apologies if my nose is red. Um, it's quite cold out there, but it's all solidified now. And what, so what we're going to do is lift it out with the paper. You might need to cut around the edges of the thing if you've not completely papered it. That's what I just had to do. Um, but we should be able to turn it out. And the paper should peel off, hopefully. Yeah. So we've now got this block of fudge and I'm going to take a sharp knife and I'm going to trim it into little squares. Now it is very sticky, so it will stick to the knife, but just be really careful. And do get an adult to help you with this because you are using a quite a sharp knife. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to chop them into smaller squares. So what you should end up with is a layered fudge. Um, my layers have kind of merged into each other. I made, what I probably should have done is used a smaller dish. Um, and made more yellow, made more bright colours, but that is rainbow fudge. It's so good. So that is how you make rainbow fudge. Like I said before, you can use any colours you want. You don't have to use any colour if you don't want. You can add flavours to it, add chocolate, add Haribo, you can add whatever you want to it. Sprinkles, whatever, you can make it your own completely. Um, if you do make it, Please send us pictures, uh, seb.walker at 3circlesfostering.com or charlotte.andrew at 3circlesfostering.com. Uh, hope you had a very happy new year and a good Christmas. I know it was different this year, but um, this year is going to be better. We're hopefully going to see each other soon. Um, yeah, stay safe.